Hey folks, we're down here at the Toronto Sportsman Show 2016. We're working with the Manitoulin Expositor, promoting the annual Salmon Classic. It's going to happen this summer, 2016, July 23rd to August 14th. There's $25,000 in prizes up for grabs, $12,000 going to the biggest salmon. Stay tuned for our salmon episode. We'll be right back. Life offers no guarantees, but the one thing that we've learned for sure is that the time we have is indeed precious. The more time we spend with family, with friends and with nature can make the difference between living a good life and living a great one. Join us on our quest to be participants rather than observers, to learn from our mistakes, to share our successes and our failures as we spend all the time we have chasing our dreams, fueling our passion and fueling our fire in the great outdoors. Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Closed captioning for Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by North Meridian Enterprises. Okay, so Rob is up first. Um, we're going to see if uh, these limans that we put on are, are going to make a difference. We're running a green lineman at 150 feet back on the ball and then we're also running um, a white and pink lineman. We're only down uh, 12 feet here and and 16 feet on this one because they're they seem to be biting uh, somewhat uh, high. We're over about 40 feet so okay, you're up. All right we no sooner said that than Oh, he's off. Okay, so that was Rob's turn. I'm up next. <laughs> Manitoulin Island, the south shore of Manitoulin Island, used to be a mecca for salmon fisher people. That was in the late 80s and early 90s. It started to decline in that decade, and it it bottomed out pretty much in in around 2000. So now that that fishery is starting to pick back up and rob and i go at it hard all season long but especially during the salmon season we take people out on salmon charters uh, through island sunrise fishing and hunting outfitters we do that primarily out of providence bay I'm straight right out uh oh he's already surfacing oh yeah Nice, your line going out, eh? Just coming across the surface there now. Fish. Okay, so we'll put him back in the water. <laughs> Hello. So with this fish, uh, this is a real good fish. He took all of that bait. Yeah, that's still nice looking silver fish, eh? Yeah, nice and silver. Beautiful. Probably about an uh, eight pounder. Awesome start to the evening. I'll take him any day after missing one. One of the things as a fishing charter, and we do fishing charters all, all summer long out here, is that you better like watching people catch fish. And I don't know whether or not what I like more, either catching the, some of those big fish on these big action eight foot rods with 20 pound test, or watching someone catch one on it. It's a lot of fun to see. And next up is our cameraman who sometimes works hard but all the time loves to fish and it's Jess, so he's up next. And hopefully he's gonna be able to fight a real good one here. Let him fight, let him fight, keep your tip up. Yeah, keep that tension on there, don't, don't, don't be cranking it, keep the tension on. 
You want to try and bring him over on this side? Yeah. Back up, just Fish, buddy. Woo, good fish. All right, there you go. Hold up. That's it, folks. We're watching people catch fish and helping people catch fish here on Fuel the Fire TV. That was an awesome job done by our cameraman who doesn't always get to come up from behind the camera, but he did today. Good job. The Kegong River is a popular summer spot with the Bridal Falls there. Um, but with the help of Mantuan Streams, they've done some amazing rehabilitation of that, of that river system and has become uh, a salmon mecca. Um, it's just unbelievable the amount of fish that go through and end up at the top of the falls. One of the reasons that the salmon fishery has come back is the hard work of the Gorbay Fishing Game Club. They do a fantastic job with their hatchery and have very good success with, with the fish that they do put in the lake. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Wequemekong Tourism. Hey folks, welcome to Conservation Corner. In this part of the salmon segment, we're really highlighting the Gorbay Fish and Game Club and their hatchery. These guys have put in a ton of work. I'm here with Chester Whitty to try and get these Chinook fry, the hatchlings, to this fry stage. So these fish uh, in the wild, as you see them come up the Kegwong River, they, the odds are stacked against them, right? They don't really have um, a high chance at, at success in the wild. Can you tell me a little bit about how that changes here at the hatchery? Yes, uh, in the wild, they, uh, they only have about a 1% success rate. Uh, we give them in this hatchery, raising them right from the egg, we give them uh, anywhere from 65 to 75% success rate. 65 to 75 and maybe even higher uh, success rate. That's fantastic work for this fishery. Now these fish are get stocked into the surrounding waters of Manitoulin. Uh, tell us where, uh, you know, these efforts where we're going to see the fruits of your labor. Uh, like Meldrum Bay, um, uh, Kegwan, of course, we take a lot of our, our eggs and, uh, and that from Kegwan and uh, Gore Bay itself and uh, West Bay. This is such a good example of partnership. I know the Manitoulin Streams has been a big part in stream restoration and all of the riparian work that is done by that nonprofit organization here on Manitoulin in partnership with the Gore Bay Fish and Game Club and also the Little Current Fish and Game Club. And it really does give back to the, the, our, the average sports fishermen like ourselves. This actually creates this big want for people to come up here you know, get their lines wet and, and have, uh, you know, catch that fish of a lifetime. Fantastic work, I can't thank you enough. Thank you very much. In order to fuel your passion and fuel the fire, you have to get outdoors. Now back to the program. Hey folks, welcome back to Fuel the Fire TV. We're out on Providence Bay. This is our salmon fishing episode. We're down rigging for salmon on the south shore of beautiful Manitoulin Island. It's a little rough today. We got about maybe some three foot chop in the bay. We're hopefully gonna be able to hook onto some of these fish that are staging right before they go up the Mindamoya River. Fishing has been pretty good in the last week or so. We actually do some chartering out here all summer long and we take people out and watch them catch fish. Now it's our turn. We know that there are some 15, 18 and even 20 plus pound fish and we're hoping to catch a couple of those today. A nice little coho at 25 feet. We'll put him right in the box. All right, so what we're gonna do today, yesterday this was a hot lure. It's a red with a stickleback on it. It's got a black um, stripes on it, and then it's got a gold reflection on the other side. The other lure that has been really good this week 
is this lime green, it's an ultraviolet alawite, and it's a northern king lure. Uh, as you can see, it's got lots of reflection, and it even has that big eye there. And then I always make sure I check in with the harbor master and see what people are bringing in. And today he said that the Lakers, a nice Laker came in, the fish of the day is 10 pounds, and uh, it hit a blue, uh, a blue and silver lure. So that's always good to know. Check in with the people that are fishing and they'll tell you what the bite is around here. All right, here you go. This is your point. Keep, keep the tension on it. Keep your line up, your tip up. Coming in. Oh, he wants to take off some line. That's what we're trying to get, folks. Every day, all day, out here in Providence Bay on beautiful Manitoulin Island. This is a Chinook salmon, I believe. I would hazard a guess this guy is gonna go 10 plus, and I, I guarantee you this is gonna be fish of the day there, mister. You! Oh. Here we go, here's your fish, you hold it up. Watch it. There it is. IslandSunriseCottages.ca. Check us out on the World Wide Web. Hey, Diane loves to fish. She especially likes to ice fish, but I think it's because it's so calm. When we go bass fishing, she loves that. It's the waves she doesn't like. She gets a little bit of seasickness. However, when she started to catch some fish and we started to hook into some of those salmon, she got that salmon sickness and she really wanted to catch one. Big? This is okay. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh my gosh. Let him fight, let him fight. Yeah, keep Do I keep real? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're never going to guess what happened. Ah. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. And that was Diane's motto this season. As you can see, we lost the first one, we lost the second one, the third one was a heartbreaker. Come around this side. I lost it. I saw it swimming in there. This is it. We only have a half an hour to get this done and we have to catch a fish tonight. Diane's on the reel again. She's dying to catch a fish. Let's see what happens. We're trying to get Diane her first fish. Her first big time out of the boat. And we have a bunch of misses. And we've just been having bad luck after bad luck. Oh my gosh. Just keep it right there. You're good. You're good. Okay. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, 
All right. So this is Diane's first fish. We're videoing in six foot waves. This is her first Chinook salmon, probably about uh, seven or eight pounds. Remember folks, even when it's crazy windy and the moon is full, fishing is always good. You gotta come out. We came out for a half an hour and uh, we're able to catch this seven pounder. So this is gonna go in the box as Diane's first fish. Good job. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Island Sunrise Cottages. Hey folks, we're back at Gardens Gate. We're with Rose Diebolt again for this week's segment on the Wild Kitchen. She's gonna help me uh, again and we're gonna do coho salmon. Again, salmon is one of my favorite fish to eat, especially when it's uh, prepared at the hands of, of someone with the expertise as, as Rose does. So we'll take this piece, okay. we're gonna put it on here. Yep. And we're gonna end up wrapping everything in a, a paper pouch. Okay. Which you can also do in tin foil. Um, so we could do it like out in an open fire or on a barbecue or whatever? Okay. It works really well. So we're gonna just sprinkle just a bit of salt on it. Uh, sea salt, my favorite. Sea salt. A little bit of pepper, my favorite. Okay. So then we're gonna layer. 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 Like a sandwich. It's like a sandwich. So okay. lemon slices. Lemon slices, like right here? Yep, throw okay. a couple on. And then tuck a couple underneath it maybe too. Okay. Better. So then you sprinkle on some chives again. Some chives. Claws are green onions, but I didn't have any, so we thought, eh, okay. use chives instead. Yep. And then some parsley. Parsley. Garlic again. Garlic, because Rose loves garlic, garlic. as do yes. I. And if you notice this time, it's not minced, it's sliced. Like sliced oh, garlic. Okay. Cool. Then we'll have a little bit of um, Swiss chard. Swiss chard from the, garden. from the garden. Remember folks, Rose grows almost all of this stuff right here, um, right on site at Gardens Gate. Okay, then um, we'll throw a few carrots. Just carrots. Little, just a few small ones on top. Okay. Or on the side, however you want to do that. And okay. Okay, then some potato slices. Potatoes. Now these were... Parboiled. Parboiled. Just, just to... Hurry along. Okay, where are we? Well, where are we? Top. Right on top? Yep, okay. Kind of Here, I'll let you do that because we're making a sandwich, right? We're making a sandwich. All right. There. There's your sandwich. Okay. Now, on top of all of that, my butter. Favorite. Butter. Yes. Oh, God. I love butter. So, let's just put lots of butter on. We'll just throw a calendula do a flour in here just to give it a little bit extra touch. Do you have one? Because I, I could wear one. Okay. No, we don't, no, okay. no, no, we're no, good. We don't, sure? we have no, no, I don't no. want to risk ruining supper. Oh, so we're okay. going to wrap it. Wrap it. And we're putting it in the pan and in the oven for what temperature? Um, about 400 again. 400 again? In a half an hour. Okay. Like and when we take it out, we'll cut it open and that way it'll all be just kind of dish it out. You heard it, folks. This week's Wild Kitchen, we're having a coho a sandwich, I guess is what we're going to call this <laughs> one. And we'll uh, we'll bring that, that taste test to you shortly. There's no substitute for spending time with family and coming full circle from catching the fish to preparing the fish to then uh, eating it with family. There's nothing like it. Make sure you get off the couch and enjoy what some of the outdoors has to offer. Hey folks, welcome back to Fuel the Fire TV. Just getting the boat ready for the 2016 Annual Salmon Classic, which is a salmon derby being sponsored by our local newspaper, the Manitoulin Expositor. It starts July 23rd. It's sure to be three fun-filled weeks of chasing salmon and chasing $25,000. Check out our last fish, we're about to show it to you, of 2015. This is why Fishing Manitoulin is second to none. And you got it. Okay, we got a salmon on here. Rob's just gonna clear that other line. Feels like maybe a 10 pounder. Try and keep him coming, he's coming at us now. Coming straight down. Oy! I'm gonna try and bring him right along here. He's over here. He's right here. 
You got that line there. Hang on a second. You got that line to be the cable to watch it. It feels like a good fish. Hang on, baby. Keep coming. We'll play him out a little bit here. I'm gonna bring him right to your rock. I'm just gonna take one stab at him, right? Okay. We got him right in. There we go. He's a good fish. And you can tell these fish are just starting to, they're starting to turn color because they're going to start running. It's the uh, early part of, the last part of August here. These fish haven't made it in the bay yet, but we're going to watch that. And this is a good fish. This fish here would probably go uh, maybe 13 pounds. Um, it's a Chinook salmon. It's really, really healthy. And uh, this is something that we've been we've been after for uh, for the last little while. And these fish are, are are just getting ready to stage. They're still really good eating fish. Um, this is my first salmon that I caught this year. Even though we did about 40 charters. Um, that that was over 10 pounds anyway for me so we finally get to uh to do a little bit of fishing ourselves at the end of the fishing season we hope you enjoyed this episode we really want to promote manitoulin island and it's and it's budding fishery the fishery for salmon is coming back through all the hard work of our local fish and game clubs on the island and all of the hatcheries and uh come on up and enjoy what the pristine waters of Georgian Bay and Manitoulin Island have to offer. You gotta get off the couch, you gotta fuel your passion, fuel the fire, and get outdoors. We'll see you next week.